Well, thanks for taking the time to sit down and talk to me, Mr. Milner. Um, uh, it's a pleasure and an honor to meet you. I know you are a longtime supporter of the Edmonton Public Library. Uh, I'd like to start off by asking you to take us back in time to 1967 right. and the opening of the library. What was it like? There was a whole series of events came together that led to us sitting there that day in 1967. Number one, the library was built at the top of the hill and Carnegie put up the funds for it. Number two, the city was starting to get very active at that time. Right. Number three, uh, Mayor Elmer Roper uh, was mayor, I was an alderman, and there was increasing concern, particularly from a report, I think it was out of Chicago, that indicated that if you lost your downtown tax base, their social costs downtown went up dramatically. And the city was drifting west. And so it was obvious that the city downtown had to be anchored. Well, then along came the centennial, the idea of planning for the centennial. And so out of it all, I uh, was sitting there day, that day saying a silent prayer of thanks because we had been able to get the li new library built to form the anchor for the downtown. Well, it's amazing that, that people would have had to have the foresight to see what the public library can do in a community. Now, at the time, were people thinking it's a great anchor to have, but also thinking about how it would sort of reach out into the community as well? When you go back a few years from that, libraries were not really, libraries were tolerated. Now everybody sort of believes in them because this one is such a part of the community. They've done a fantastic job on it. If you're going to build libraries, you have to stand up. As you've been able to see the library evolve over the last 53 oh, yeah. years, are there any achievements that you're most proud of in terms of what the library's oh. done? It's not one thing. If you're going to go look at this library, think of the concept of this library. Bear in mind, you have to consider a library is the beginning of education. They've created, you know, robotics to teach children, games rooms to teach people, 3D printing, a music area that is absolutely must be a delight to people interested in music. Then when you come into it is, as I understand it, one of two in the world, that spectacular living mural, which you, you go from fish to dinosaurs to what have you. And so in this library, you can go in and you can be, feel tranquility, you can forget your cares, there's, all, there's something to do. It's a jo kind of a joyous place, if you know what I mean. It is, it yeah. is. Well, I know certainly when I was growing up, the library for me was a sanctuary, right? Yes. You go there, you feel safe, you're surrounded by uh, information and knowledge, and if you were ever curious about something, all you have to do is go to the library and right. find something. Uh, this one is really, I think, one of the top ones in the world from the standpoint of, of uh, its presentations and its movement into the future. And, well, do you find that now with uh, certainly the, the rise of technology that, that people have really embraced the notion of a library being a stopping place for people to gain knowledge? Like it becomes more than just a, a place for history, that, it's a place for the future as well. That's why they have to change. And this becomes a, a focal point of the community. And uh, I know if you talk to Pilar, she's had terrific results from immigrants with her children, teaching them English, teaching them how to read, all of these things, giving them a, a move up on uh, life. It's just a very uh, wonderful place for Edmonton. And just one final plea, keep supporting the library, folks. Well, excellent. Thank okay. you, Mr. Milner. Thank you.